Cutting dovetails, there's two options on how to remove the waste. You can chisel it out, or you can remove it with a saw. It has to be a fret saw, not a coping saw. I'll show you why. First of all, why I don't like chiseling, it's just a lot of banging and crashing to try to get that out. It gets wedged in there, and it's rather difficult. I find a little fret saw with the right size blade can get that out nice and quick. So here's our fret saw. First of all, we tape the handle just like we would a hockey stick. So if you've ever played hockey, you know how you tape the top end of your stick. It gives you lots of grip. Open it up. There's a wing nut on the frame. Open both of these wing nuts. And inside these jaws, the surface is serrated to grab the blade. And you're using a blade. We give you a dozen. A, the blade does not have, uh, it's got a shank on the end. It does not have a pin. Now these will come out just one way, which happens to be the way that, the opposite way that the teeth are positioned. Okay, if it's going to be difficult, I'll use my pliers. There. Now, if you can't see it, you can feel it. You want the teeth to be cutting so it, when you pull, it cuts. So that's the way I want to go. First thing I'm going to do is drop that shank in there all the way to the bottom so you have lots of surface area to clamp on and really squeeze that tight. And then bring this down and do the same thing at the top. Bring it right to the bottom. Snug that up. Then, while pulling on the frame, I'm going to back this top wing nut off until I expose a gap about a quarter of an inch right here. Then I'll take the tension here, snug that up, and then as I wind in this wing nut, it will really put a lot of extra tension on that blade and keep that from bowing severely when I'm using it. Now, that would, in that condition, I'd be restricted to the three inch depth of cut. So what I do, if I'm right-handed, take a pair of needle nose pliers, grab the blade right there at the clamping point and give it about a 30 degree twist, same thing at the top. Now when I make a horizontal cut, the frame stays up above and I'm not restricted at all. In order to make, cut this piece out, when you lay that blade in that kerf, you've got to actually remember to move your frame over because you twisted the blade. The blade is small enough that it'll go down without wrecking the kerf. Go right to the bottom, come up off the bottom slightly, turn and saw, and if you get good with this, you'll be able to cut right next to that line to really minimize the amount that you then have to chisel. Lots of control, just a great way to remove the waste. We tape it up for you, we send you a dozen blades, and you're just a few minutes away from being able to use it.